Hey guys and welcome to Homeland TV. So today I'm going to tell you about six pro tips that you can use with Sibelius on your own scores, whether you're a singer-songwriter, composer, or arranger, I think uh, these will be useful for you. Uh, I'm going to tell you about harp pedaling, about uh, resizing bars, about quarter tone playback, and many many more. And I really hope that you enjoy this video. Please keep on watching. All right, so the first tip that we were going to cover today is the plugin for Sibelius that you can add harp pedaling automatically, which is a very neat feature. Um, so we, what we're gonna do is to go to the home tab right here and we press the, we press the uh, plugins right here and then there's a harp pedaling. But before that, we need to select the passage and make sure you select both of the staffs um, and we go to the add harp pedaling and you can see you can add to the whole score and you can add to the selected passage that is if you didn't have selected the whole thing now there are two options here one is the diagram which you will have it uh, like the normal diagram like this and the way to do it text with the textbook way of course is to the first time in every movement that you have or the beginning of the piece you will have the diagram or the boxed and then when it changes you will have uh, to add um, the extra little changes so you don't have to do this all the time so just the beginning one of each movement and also the beginning of the piece <coughs> excuse me and uh, so let's try the other one mm, we go back yep and then we do add harp pedaling right here and then this one is the box text okay and as you can see, it's here. And it's a pretty neat feature. And you can just, it usually puts it up there, but it's better to be in the middle. And also these guys, you can put it a little bit before or the beginning of the bar as you wish, because this D flat is for here and the B flat of course is before, but then don't also, don't forget to give some time for the harp harpist to change the pedals because uh, if they're really close then it's a bit difficult to change the harp pedaling. So the next feature that we're going to cover is the plugin for making an explode uh, explosion out of the um, score and to make a reduction out of it. And by explode I mean to create multiple lines out of however you have, how many you have. So Basically, you can make a, if you have a short score, you can uh, make an explosion out of it, and then you can make a bigger score, an expansion out of it. So let's try to see what it does. First, you need to select a passage. Make sure you select only one staff, okay? And then we want it to explode into two staffs because it's enough already, because there are two voices only. And then we go to the settings to see if there's anything needed, which is not and so create new destination staffs and this is the numbers from so if you have multiple staffs already right here then if you put two or three or four or five then it will show the number from the number that you're putting here the number of the staff will you see it in a second so let me do it see because we put three and then it's three and four now if you have selected selected the multiple so like four staffs well, i mean this function um, whoop, sorry. So if we would have selected four, then this right here would have been three, four, five, and six, okay? And then we have a pretty cool score right here, which is the result of the uh, upper score. And the other thing that I wanted to tell you regarding the um, explode function is that if you have a multiple so let's imagine we have a um, we have a violin um, 
solo oh. and then we have a viola and a cello just just to see what's gonna happen so now imagine you want to put it right here not not a new new staff which is this is actually more useful if you're directly putting the stuff in your for example the orchestra version so we select this and we go to the notation whoop, note input sorry plugins explode we select two steps and we go to ok and use existing staff so this is below source staff which it would just automatically put whatever it has but it's better to specify what you want to do and we want violin viola because there are two and then we already had two and then we press OK and there you go this is a pretty pretty neat function and uh, so that's it let's now move to the reduction plugin all right now the reduction plugin it's exactly the opposite of um, the other plugin the explode plugin so what it does is that it reduces the score that you have to well of course well, it will reduce it and it will reduce it to uh, one staff for example so now we have a, a choir score and we wanted to put them in one staff so what we want to do is to select the passages that we want so we want the whole thing for now and we go to the plugins Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop. Yeah, sorry, my bad. Reduce, it's right here. So it's a note input, plugins, is right below the explode. Okay. And then we can just easily do a name for it reduction. Use existing staff as destination. So if you have a, already a, an extra staff, you can use this. And then you can do reduction right here, which it will show you. Well, now you can see it's a bit complicated right now. Of course, you can filter out different things if you want different voices to copy and paste them. But the easier thing would be to just uh, for select the upper voices. So you make a reduction. So you put uh, like one, for example. Right? And then you select the lower voice and then you do a reduction. Yeah, yep. And then we put two. And, and there you go, which is now pretty, well, for the eye at least, it's pretty good. And then maybe you can just change this. And it looks pretty neat, right? All right, so the next one would be the convert simple time to compound time, which is a pretty, pretty useful feature right here. So I'm going to use the example before. This is when you want to have, uh, when you want to switch, of course, the name also implies simple time to compound time. So you're going to change 44 to 128 or 24 to 68. And it's pretty simple. So we select the whole thing. And then we go to <coughs> plugins, sorry, convert simple time to com compound time. Okay. And there's this option right here that it says straighten out, written out, uh, straighten, sorry, <laughs> straighten, written out swing. And I've put this note exactly for that. And uh, so if you want it to exactly sound and be like that, then, then you should put it to yes. And then you will see the difference. And it's also written here that uh, this plugin converts written out swung eight notes, dotted eight followed by 16 note patterns into straight eights, okay? And then you will see also see it already changed here right now. If you can see the D and G here, it's changed it into a quarter and an eighth note. Okay. Now, if we don't do it, you will see here convert simple. Nope. Okay. And now it will look like this. So it really depends on what you want to do. And then as you can see, it adds some bar to the bars that were there before. Okay. All right. So for this one is a feature that allows you to export each staff as a separate audio. So for example, if you have a, 
if you have people who are rehearsing and they want the individual files, this is where you go. Um, and you can see it's our, it's in the home tab. And then you go to the plugins, you go to export each staff as audio right here. And then you click. And then you can see the options right here, which is pretty neat. Uh, so, it's <coughs> sorry, export multi staff instruments together or export each staff separately. And then you browse wherever you want it to be. And then also there's this name options, whatever you want it to go. Right? And you just click OK, and then you'll have it. Pretty, cl pretty clear and pretty neat. The next one is Quartertone playback, which is a neat feature. Um, if you want to have your quartertones uh, being played back, so of course, if you want to put quartertones, you have to go to the keypad, and at the end, you have these symbols right here. Okay. And then uh, let's imagine this quarter sharp right here. Um, now, if you want to play it back, first I suggest that you um, open up the hidden objects. So you can just write hidden, and then you can see the hidden objects right here. Or Option Shift and H, as you can see, they're coming back. Why? Because then we will see what does the plugin do. Next thing is to select the passage and then we go to play and then the plugins right here and we have the quarter tone playback right and then you just click OK right here and that's it and what is basically doing now is that it it's adding pitch bend to uh, to your notes so if you play it back right now you will get uh, a sharper note right here, which is the quarter sharp. And uh, the th reason that I said we need to have the files, uh, we need to have the hidden files showed, uh, I mean hidden files, I mean the hidden text right here, is that uh, if you move this or if you delete this, it will not, it, it's not going to work. So if, if you change a passage, if you rewrite it or if you do something, make sure you select these, you delete them and then you redo the passage again because it's not going to work. And then it's going to be a bit confusing because the sound will be different than what's written. So every time you change anything, you should do uh, a redo of the plugin, which uh, which I already told you. It's in the plugins, quarter tone playback. All right, so the last uh, tip that we're going to discuss today is the resize bar plugin, which you can find it in the home tab again, plugins, and then there's the resize. And then we're going to explain what it's going to do. Oh, sorry. So first of all, the most important thing is to select the passage or a certain, um, oh, of, of course, a certain bar or a certain passage, whatever you like. So we'll first go with the bar. And then we go to resize bar right here. And let's see what we have here. Um, this is pretty useful when you have complicated scores and then you want to add a little bit to it or remove something uh, if you're just gonna if you're just gonna go with the normal time signatures it's gonna be a bit difficult so this is the best way to go for adding a little bit or again adding a little bit time or removing some so let's try out let's see what does this one do so shrink bar by duration and this is the amount of duration that there is you can find it from here you can if you put three for example is the code word for eight note and then uh, let's try out, for example, a quarter note, or maybe even better, let's do uh, 16. Okay. Now, if we and how many durations you want? One 16 note or two 16 notes? And what's it gonna do? It's it's going to add the duration to the bar that you already have, right? So then it's gonna be like this. See, so this little thingy here that we already added there. It's pretty handy. And then of course, if you want, you can. Uh, change the bar. I think it will be like 716 or something. Uh, it's pretty neat. A pretty nice feature right here. Uh, let's see the other ones. Of course, resize bar. This one will do the uh, the shrinking, of course. And then now let's try another one. Let's do eighth note, single dot, and two. Which well actually it doesn't make sense because then it will be. Just two halves. Uh, let's do it like this. 
And now we have a reduction right here. Oop. Yep, that's true. Okay. Now let's discover the other features. Resize bar. Mm -hmm. And this is the duration that you want. And this is pretty handy if you have a big, uh, if you have a long, for example, this one, or even a 4.4 four or whatever, and then you wanted to, you want to change it to, to a 3.8 or, or a shorter amount or a longer uh, duration or whatever you want. But let's try out to see what, what's it going to do. The thing is that it we can choose 3.8. Uh, so this is the eighth note, the code word for eight note. And then we're going to have three. Let's see what it's going to do. See, now we already have a three notes right here. So it's a three eight. And then you can also, of course, um, duplicate it. And one thing that you shouldn't forget is that if I do it now, it's going to copy just the, uh, just the notes. Okay. So you're going to need to do a passive selection like this. And if you want to do that, you should hold shift control and a, and then you select it like this. And then this selects the whole actually the, with the, all the information in it. And then if you do that, it will go and of course, if you want to have a three eight, you need to change the bar as well, you can press T and then put a three eight or whatever you want. And now let's talk about the other features in the resize bar, which are pretty useful as well. Uh, right. Let's select it. We go right here to merge. No, sorry, resize bar. All right. So now let's see what are these two. This is shrink bar to fit contents, and this is resize bar to fit the time signature. Let's try first uh, shrink bar to fit the contents. Easy, right? Let's just clear whatever it does. So it just uh, makes it. Uh, of course, it shrinks it and then also it deletes it. If you want to go in a normal way, if this is a 5.8 and then you put a 5.8 right here, let's try. What it does is that you also have this extra here. But this is pretty neat because you can just do it immediately and there will be no extra in it. And the other thing, the last thing, is that uh, you know sometimes that you have uh, you're adding another time signature to your score. Like, for example, when you have a 6-8 right here on this bar. Well, oh, yeah, let's just write a 6-8. It's easier, right? And then uh, let's write some notes. Okay. Now, if you want to delete this, it's going to ask you a question. Do you want to rewrite the following bars up to the next time signature or to the end of the score? Now, if you click yes, this score the next bar that is modified will have a, a extra quarter note uh, rest right here, which actually the question was that, do you want it to look like the same or no? Do you want it to be the same as the bar before or no? And then, uh, but, well, this is good, right? But sometimes you forget. So imagine you've done this and then you click no, okay? And then you forgot and then you did some complicated stuff. But the good thing is that now you have an option to to get it back. Now what's what you can do, this basically adds some beat to it. And this is a pretty, pretty awesome feature right here, which you can go to again to the resize bar. And the first thing. So it's going to resize it to fit the time signature, which is four for the, the bar, the time signature before it. See, you can just use it as the way it was before. And uh, well, that's it for today. And I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comment section. See you in another video and have a good day. Bye bye.